After two years of close border between Singapore and Malaysia, things finally changed again. Me and my Singapore friends able to enjoy motorcycle adventure together in Malaysia. Today is 10th of April. We plan a ride from Johor Bahru to Genting Highland. In the meantime, Jack and Jessica invited their friends to meet up for lunch at Seremban and discover some nice scenery places. Good morning. Morning. Hello. 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 Before we start our journey on North South Expressway, a total of eight motorcycles here from Southern Malaysia. I met some of them in Singapore during lockdown. They are all very friendly and fun. This is Amiro and his wife, probably the shortest R1250 GSA rider I've met. After an hour of light breakfast, we started riding at 7 a.m. On the left is Jessica, a lady rider from Singapore. She has a very welcoming character and always looking for a taller woman rider. First stop before Saramban for lunch is Pago R&R. We're going to fill up our motorcycle and have a bit of drinks. Along the road, I do enjoy the moment of riding again. With beautiful morning sunrise, cool breeze, power of motorcycle and adrenaline rush. So we reached Pago r, &R around 8.20am, which later than we planned. But I didn't realize that I had to change my GoPro LED filter as the sun is getting bright, basically caused my footage overexposed. This is your trip. Trip one On board so trip one. Documentary, documentary. Documentary, yeah. Two years. Today is the first day. Yes. In Malaysia. It's foreign to me. And here this is land. Elvin. He is our captain like for the it. journey. He always willing to share his riding experience. Morning. Welcome to Malaysia. And this is Jack. He is my ex schoolmate. A happy go lucky guy. Playful character. Always the joker in the group. And here is Hongda. We met him during the pandemic in Singapore. He's very polite and soft spoken. <laughs> this is Amiro's wife, Ruha. Jessica is having problem with her navigation device, and Jack is trying to fix up for her. Induction. Induction is maybe he is more A bit sore. A bit sore. Yeah. I think it's been a very long time since we went. She is my fiance Lola. I'm not used to Her it. Her dad had a 1250 <laughs> RT back in France, so she is always enjoy going on the bike. <laughs> always try the limit of the bike. Yes. You will know. <laughs> yes. We still long way. Ah. You say yeah. no choice because because I got one GSA. They only like macam <laughs> kapchai. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh, I I bro, bro, that bike faster than you. That bike faster than you. This bike faster than you. Oh, At around 8:40 a.m., we continue our journey to Saramban. 
we supposed to meet up with Jack and Jessica friends at 9am so we had to increase our speed Finally reach our destination at 9.30 am. There are about 15 motorcycle at the venue. All the riders have been waiting for us. We are all thirsty riding under the hot sun. Everyone is busy talking about their journey while having nice cold drink. The famous food here is fishball noodle located at Banda Seremban. We do sell other variety food like egg tart, fried fishball, fried bean curd and so on. We met quite a few lady riders from Kuala Lumpur this picture. and we met Cecilia Sophie. She is an active motor vlogging YouTuber in Malaysia. Not long after, we continue to Temiang Highway located at Negeri Sembilan. It's a federal road in Seremban which connects Seremban to Kuala Kuang and Simpang Petang. The constructions of the road began in 2019 and was completed in 23 July 2021. The road has a mountainous scenery view. Locals describe it having a New Zealand-like view. <laughs> okay, let's go. We continue our ride from Temiang Highway via Road 86 towards the border of Negeri Sembilan and Pahang State. Federal Road 86, known as Jalan Jelebu. It was the earliest federal roads in Negeri Sembilan, built in 1911. After about 35 minutes of riding, we have reached a petrol station just outside of Pahang State. A few of the riders need to fill up their motorcycle and get some refreshment. As we continue the journey, we ride towards the state of Pahang via Federal Road 9. Riding for 53 kilometers, and we decided to stop at the roadside for some discussions. Some of the riders won't be following us to Genting Highland, so we split up after this. Good. 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 
我的我的八卦是甜的哦。你的布列是未必的，是你需要的。So now we are riding to Genting Highlands, 1800 meters of elevation. The place was established by the late Chinese businessman Lim Goto in 1965. 30 kilometers uphill riding, we stop for lunch at Gongtong Jaya. It's a service township of Genting Highlands named after Lim Goto. We checking in Him Park Hotel. Everyone was fatigued after a hot sunny ride, so we take 30 minutes break and getting ready to discover the outlet. Not surprisingly, a lot of people came to Genting was probably because COVID restrictions. Say cheese! Welcome to Genting Highland! Last time I came here was just before lockdown. We were debating what cuisine to eat. Not long after, we randomly went in a restaurant. We had so much fun talking about our first day journey on the motorcycle. This is day 2 and also the last day of our trip. Time for some of us to head back home. So far so good. I prefer the one at home but it's not bad. For a couple of days it's fine. We checked out the hotel around 9am. Before heading back to KL to pick up Ruha, we have some light breakfast and we'll miss this chilly weather here. When we are about to send Jimmy off to the bus station, we are totally drenched. Heavy rain comes and goes. The road was slippery and my visor fogged up. Not too long after drop off Jimmy, he texted me saying he missed the bus. Oh well, nothing much we could do, so he had to take a cable car back to the top and regroup with them. Here we reach for lunch and picking up Ruha as well. 
Oops, I was too dumb to fail at the car park as I misstep, but I managed to bring it up. Hooray! So this is Kenny Hills Bakers located at Ampang. So we are on a bike 4.30pm, 285 kilometers to reach home. A bit of rain in KL and traffic. And also, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. Hopefully I'll do more amazing videos next time. We have reached Pago Arena 6.20pm, taking a little break before reaching home. Everyone is back home safely, also we do enjoy a lot and meet new people. So see you guys on my next video and have a good day.